Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be telling you about the difference between echo test of the heart and ECG test of the heart. Before starting the video, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, so that I can share all the information with you. As you know, your heart is one of the most important organs of your body. It is essentially a pump which is made up of muscles and has four chambers. I hope you pretty well know what is the function of the heart. You might have studied in your school, right? The basic function of the heart is to transport oxygen in your whole body. In recent times, there has been a huge spike in the number of heart diseases or cardiac diseases. Every day in emergency department, a large number of patients show up with chief complaint of chest pain. Sometimes it becomes difficult for the doctor to interpret. So to avoid all the cues faced by the doctors and all the difficulties faced by the patients, it is advisable for you to get your regular health checkup. Your doctor might ask you to get different tests done to diagnose the disease better. Thanks to the medical technology, now we have a lot of different tests and a lot of different machines which can help us to diagnose better. And if we diagnose better, you get better treatment. First of all, let's understand what is echo test and what is ECG. An echo test or echocardiography is an imaging method which uses sound waves to create live images of your heart known as echocardiogram. An echocardiogram can help doctor to find about a lot of defects in your heart and your heart muscles. It is also very important if you have a prior history of heart attack. Also, it helps doctor to detect some heart problems in unborn babies. Now, you might be thinking why your doctor will ask you to get your echo done. The doctor might ask you to get your echo done if he notices some abnormality in your heartbeats. Also, if you show any signs or symptoms of shortness of breath or chest pain. Now, you might be thinking how is echo test done? Echo test, as I told you, it's very simple. In easy language, you can say it is ultrasound of your heart. You will need to go to the hospital or the lab. You might be asked to lie down on the bed or the table. Your doctor or your technician will apply some gel on your chest. Also, he will apply the gel on the transducer or the probe. This test is very simple and painless. You will only feel a slight pressure on the chest. You might also feel slight coolness in the skin of your chest. It usually takes 40 minutes to 1 hour for the test to get it done. Most of the times, it's easy to get images of your heart, but in case if it's hard to find the structures of your heart, your doctor might give you IV contrast. This IV is non-iodine based. It is just a simple dye which is used for medical purposes. After the test is done, the results may reveal about a lot of conditions such as clots in your heart, fluid in the sac around, problems with the valves. It can also tell about the stiffness of the heart. And now, you know, if your heart is stiff, it might not pump enough blood. And as I told you, this test is very simple and very easy. You need not prepare anything for the test. Before the test, you can take your medications. As usual, you can eat and drink everything you like. But remember, if you have a pacemaker placed, please inform the doctor. Sometimes during the test, your doctor might ask you to hold your breath or breathe rapidly or sniff through your nose. Also, you may be asked to change the positions to get the better view. Now, we are done with the 2D echo. Let's come to the ECG. I hope you would have heard this term a lot of times in your life, ECG. Also, you would have seen ECG machines in a lot of movies and serials. But do you know what is ECG? In my personal life, I have seen a lot of people having a tattoo of the heartbeat. And that heartbeat, the electrical heartbeat is usually seen in the machine. We have seen it every day, everywhere. But do you actually know what is it? Okay, so let's see what is ECG. ECG means electrocardiogram. It is one of the simplest and fastest tests to evaluate your heart. It is a test that records electrical activity of your heart. Now, how is this test done? Some people might get afraid to hear the word electrical, right? But don't worry, nothing's gonna happen. You will be asked to lie down on the bed or the table. Your doctor will clean some areas of your chest, your arms and your legs. If you have excess hair, your doctor might shave it off. After cleaning, your doctor might put small patches on your skin, which are known as electrodes. Those electrodes are connected to the machine with the wire or leads. The number of patches may vary from 12 to 15, but usually in India, we do 12 leads. Remember, there is no electricity in the wire. 
so you need not worry. You need to remain calm during the test. Sometimes your doctor might ask you to hold your breath or breathe rapidly. It is important to remain relaxed and warm and make sure you remain still because little shivering can also alter the results of ECG. Sometimes the same ECG test is done while you are exercising and that test is known as a stress test. Now, how do you prepare yourself for this test? You don't need any special kind of preparation for this test, but make sure you tell your doctors about all the medications that you take. Because sometimes some medicines can interfere with the result of the heart. Also remember, make sure you do not exercise or drink cold water immediately before the test, because it can interfere in the test result. Now how will you feel in this test? Is it painful? Will I get any shock? Remember, this test is also very safe and totally painless. You will not feel anything. You might feel slight cold on the skin, but that's just a little bit. So why is ECG performed? An ECG is performed to check if there are any damages to the heart, to check how fast your heart is beating when it is at rest. Sometimes it is also used to test the effect of some medicines on your body. It can also be taken if you have any chest palpitations or pain. Also, if you have any heart problems or if you have any past history or family history of heart problems, your doctor may ask you to get an ECG. And if you're going for a surgery, it's very important for you to get your ECG test done. Now, let's come to the results. What are the normal values of the test? The normal test result usually include heart rate, which is between 60 to 100 beats per minute, and the heart rhythm, which is consistent and even. What if your ECG is abnormal and what does it mean? If your ECG is abnormal, it means there are some damages or changes to the heart muscle. It also means there are some changes in the amount of electrolytes in the blood, especially potassium and calcium. Or if there is enlargement of the heart or if you have any congenital heart disease. It can also detect the risk of heart failures and heart attack and tell if you have arrhythmia or some other heart defects. Now, I'll tell you about some of the diseases that can lead to the change in your normal ECG. If there is heart attack, if there is heart failure, if there is sick sinus syndrome, if there is Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, or if there is tachycardia. These diseases can be easily visible on your ECG. Now, what are the risks of ECG? There are usually no risk of the ECG. It is very safe and very quick. How accurate is ECG? Most of the times, ECG results are pretty accurate, but some of the diseases can never produce any changes in the ECG. So if you have any heart problems or if you're having any difficulties, the doctor might ask you to get other tests along with ECG. Now let's get to the difference between ECG test and echo test and which one you should get test done. Now, let's come to the difference between echo test and ECG test. So an echo test is usually ultrasound of the heart, which tells about the damages in the structure of the heart. Whereas ECG test or EKG test is a test done to trace the normal functioning or the heart rhythm. Both the tests are complementary to each other. It means both the tests are done together. Now, some of you might be thinking, are both the tests same? Although it has similar names such as echocardiogram and electrocardiogram, but these tests are not same. Echocardiogram tells about the functioning or physical status of the heart, whereas ECG or EKG tells you about the electrical rhythm of the heart. I hope now you very well understood what are these tests, how they are done, and which one do you need. Before ending the video, I would like to tell you that it is really necessary to get your test done from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to the reputed and reliable lab will be provided to you in the description box. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please feel free to write in the comment box below. Till then, stay healthy and stay safe.